Um,
All right, guys. Um, yeah, so... This took a long time. Sorry about the staff buildings right there, but... Yeah, this took... A long time. I... I'm not a fan of making these big enclosures. Oh, by the way, in case it wasn't clear, this is, uh, my African elephant habitat. Um, one thing I want to state first, um, this is heavily inspired. And by heavily, I mean it's very, very similar to the African elephant, uh, habitat at the Milwaukee County Zoo. Now, I know what some people might be thinking. Some people are like, oh, the Milwaukee County Zoo, doesn't it suck? Um, their new African elephant enclosure is like, what, two and a half, three acres, something like, it's in that range, I don't remember exactly what it is. It's nice, it, it ha they have a nice African elephant enclosure, it's only a few years old, so it's pretty newly remodeled, and, um, I used to live in Wisconsin, believe it or not, so this kinda, this habitat has kind of a, a special place in my, my heart, because when I was a young kid, uh, going to the Milwaukee Zoo, because I lived in Wisconsin when I was quite young, um, Seeing their African elephant enclosure, their old one, always was pretty sad. It was tiny. It was really bad. And uh, seeing the, the African elephant enclosure uh, at the Milwaukee County Zoo, you know, I, I did visit a few years ago, and I've seen it. I've seen it twice now. I've seen it twice. I have been there twice since it was uh, opened. And visiting to Milwaukee, because I don't live in Wisconsin clearly anymore. Uh, move. Uh, <laughs> sorry, visiting there. Uh, I'm going a little off script here, so I'm kind of just trying to think of things off the top of my head. Visiting there, uh, it always makes me happy to see this. You know, the zoo's progressing. Uh, it's no longer going to be, I don't think, within the next 10 years, I don't think it's going to be as bad. I think they're really moving along, and it's clear with the, with the African elephant enclosure. So, yeah, uh, that's why I decided to pretty much, you know, not photocopy it, but, you know, heavily inspire uh, my African elephant a uh, enclosure after it. And yeah, I think it turned out really, really nice. So, um, there's a lot to go over. This is probably gonna be my longest video. This is gonna be within 30 minutes. So, I understand if it doesn't get as many views, but I, that's not really why I'm doing it. I, I, I like the, I like the end product. Did I have fun building it? Some parts, some parts no. <laughs> some parts I, I really did not want to play the game at all, but I just, it took me two days. Took me two days to, to build it, so let's uh, let's go over the building real quick. Um, so the building is very much a it is near nearly a photocopy, a few differences, uh, a few details, smaller details. I didn't really just I didn't feel like adding in. I just thought it was pointless. I'm not a big interior guy, and that's been quite clear lately with the the first two builds I did. I didn't really do an interior. This one was is the biggest interior I've done. Uh, except for this top part, which is like a, this is a conference room, I believe, in Milwaukee. And I, I just, I didn't care enough to do it. But, you know, I added it in. I could have just done the, the basic square, but I, I added it. I thought it, it was cool. It looked cool. It was easy enough. Uh, yeah, so let's go into, uh, here we can. Yeah, so, uh, right here in the Milwaukee Zoo, this would be obviously the restroom. I didn't do it. But, and then there's a mural right here of some elephant facts, I'm just, you know, I didn't do. <laughs> but, no, but honestly, oh, there's some elephants sleeping in here, that's pretty cool. This is the best interior I've done for the builds so far. And even in zoos that, like, my personal zoos, I hardly, hardly do in interiors this uh, detailed. Because, like I said, it's just a waste of pieces and it's going to make the game lag. And I don't, I don't really want to do that when you're doing a zoo, but you know, this is just a zoo with one enclosure So it's like why does it matter if it lags a little, but it's not going to because my computer's better than that uh, The ceiling This is actually really cool. Uh, I, I did uh, Find inspiration from the walkie zoo and kind of just added my own little touch to it And I think the ceiling oops came out really nice and I like how the walkie zoo also, you know I put the TVs here. That's what they do. They have the TVs hanging above and I think that's really cool. I think that's really awesome. And you know, the guests can walk all the way up to here, but I like this because the staff can go up here and then I put a little keeper talk. So the staff, you know, entrance is right over there. So the staff can just walk in and, you know, uh, enter the habitat through here. There's some little gates and stuff. And I even put, you know, a ceiling up here as well. And believe it or not, I thought this was a little odd that it was like tilted this way, but that's how it is. 
That's actually how it is in the fo in the photos I got, because it's not on Google Earth. So the photos I got, um, it was tilted. I'm like, okay, looks like we're we're tilting it. But yeah, even the sunroof and stuff, all the sunroofs here and stuff. It, yeah, it's the building is pretty close. I and I think it turned out really well. I really really like this building. And I might use it. I might actually create a blueprint out of this and use the building sometime. Because uh, I want to get to the next part of the build. That's the main habitat portion. Though elephants deserve this much space, believe me. I don't like habitats that can't include a ton of foliage. I, I'm foliage heavy in a lot of my habitats. Even the desert ones. But like, you know, I... I shouldn't say like foliage super heavy even in desert ones because it's not like super super heavy but like I just when I'm building a habitat like this large I always feel like I should be adding foliage in different places but the one that I do it just looks weird and I I really come down to the the conclusion I'm not a big fan of building elephant habitats because they're just so big uh, and that goes also for elephants giraffes just the, the bigger animals I'm not insane about it i did so the milwaukee zoo doesn't have these trees and foliage it's pretty much just bare with a lot of with a bunch of different enrichment items and that's what, what i want to go uh speaking of enrichment i want to go into here the milwaukee zoo these are enrichment walls we don't really have anything like that in game so i pretty much turned them into just viewing walls like with some glass in there and then there's enrichment items on the other side that the elephants can use so it's kind of it's kind of a compromise uh, between um, the enrichment wall and a viewing wall with enrichment items by the wall that you can do in game. Um, and then I did another one over here with different item, enrichment items for the elephants. And you know, you can see different enrichment items. They do have enrichment items like this at Milwaukee uh, in their elephant enclosure, like some of these. Uh, what are these called in the game? The tree was it scatter feeder? Well, far away from my computer, can see that. Yeah, the tree scatter feeder, they have things like that. But the things I add is like, you know, logs with just a little bit of grass and rocks. These random patches, I just, I got inspiration from um, different uh, safari images like of Africa I saw online, where it's like Africa's pretty bare, but then they have these random patches of like the bush. And I kind of just try to copy that in some areas, did, you know, just a few. I didn't want it to be too much where the elephants can't, like, actually move around. But, yeah, I think it, uh, it, for a large enclosure, I think it actually turned out really, really well. And, um, so pretty much this is just, you know, logs with mesh. Some real basic, uh, gardening. This is actually what I'm super proud of. How this pool turned out. I, I think it's actually like one of the best looking uh, pools I've ever done in Planet Zoo for, for an animal to swim in. But it's not like super deep because I don't I don't like the elephant swimming animation in this game. I just don't like elephants swimming in deep water in general. I don't like how it looks. I think it looks weird. So it's more or less they, they just walk through it and then splash around in it, which I think is better. And you know I I think it turned out really well. One thing I don't care for is how, like, when you put rocks together, it kind of makes, like, this weird mess, but there's really nothing I can do about that. It's more or less just kind of get over it. That's how it's going to look. But I love what, um, this turned out to be. These two, this area over here and this right here with the different, uh, patterns and the different colors depending on, uh, you know, like, water level in real life. You know, like, on a cliff where the water will splash, you know, it's a different color in one area, different color in another, you know, the stone has layers. I really think this, you know, really portrays, you know, a cliffside watering hole, and I think the different coloration, and then another inspiration I actually saw, uh, well, it wasn't really an inspiration, so the Milwaukee Zoo, on top of these things, these, like, these rock, uh, plateaus, uh, is that where we get, what we call them, rock cliffs, we're just gonna call them cliffs, I guess, uh, they had, like, a different kind of, this is what I'm thinking. Oh, going in the water. He charged right in. <laughs> then he's realized, well, that's the end of the road. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, they had a different lighter kind of mulch. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this mulch actually really looks like the bedding in-game. 
And I used the betting in game, and I think it really turned out really nice. I don't think a lot of people use the betting in game as an alternative for mulch. Uh, I think most people just use this kind of mulch that's in here. Uh, I think this is actually a really nice alternative if you want a lighter colored mulch, or if you want to pretend it's mulch like I did. And uh, I, th I think the main problem with this is that because when you put it close to the ground, it auto flattens terrain and then you gotta mess with the terrain all over again. And I think it's just a pain to for most people. But when you put it this high, it doesn't mess with the terrain. And I think this actually turned out super nice. And I, I really like the choice of plants I used uh, on top of this and you know, the trees in here. And the, the water color is perfect. I, you know, I love that Planet Zoo added in that little feature a few updates ago where you can change water color. And just these little, you know, sprinklers that, you know, I've seen these at a bunch of zoos. I don't think the Milwaukee County Zoo had them. I just added them in. I remember I saw these at San Diego in their hippo enclosure. And, I, uh, and the hippos were actually, like, swimming up to it. And it was, like, splashing on them. And they would just sit there and let it splash on them. And I thought that was, like, the coolest thing. So I'm like, you know, why wouldn't an elephant do that as well? Uh, so, yeah, I think all this turned out just really good. This area, you know, is really nice. It's really wanting me, it's really making me right now want to build, a, you know, like a seal or a seal or a sea lion enclosure. Hopefully we get some sea lions because that would be an awesome build to do in the next few weeks whenever it comes up. But yeah, it, it's really making me want to do some aquatic stuff because this just looks awesome in my opinion. It's, I'm really happy with how this water all turned out. The other parts of the enclosure, you know, so be it. Uh, one thing I noticed is that, so the elephants can't break out, is uh, they had this kind of like, you know, kind of divot in their in their enclosure, and you can, and it's like concrete that separates the, the divot and, you know, the height of the concrete, so that, you know what I'm talking about, so they can't get out, I just, I couldn't think of the word to use, but yeah, it's, I think it really turned out pretty decent. These are always kind of hard to build, so they had like a shaded area for the elephants to to go under. They had another one over here. I decided not to do it. Just thought it looked too much. I actually did build it and I cut it out. I just decided it looked too much uh, because I added in this and it just it started looking too much. I wanted to keep some of the open areas. But yeah, these are always hard to make because these are um, these are made of shapes and they're always hard to just get going. They take a little bit of time, but I did it. I did it off camera because I knew it would take a lot of time to do this, and so I did it off camera. Um, yeah, those are not the, the most fun things to build. But that's pretty much it. I didn't do a whole lot of background stuff in this. I kind of just, I created a, a square out of concrete, and then, you know, just filled in, you know, what. Well, I did the square of concrete last, because I, I didn't know if I was going to do something to separate this whole thing off with like a with like a garden area. I thought it would just would have been way too long and it wouldn't have been worth it. So I just did the the garden area uh, on the side the the, the guests would walk uh, along the paths and the concrete is just you know the replacement path with the path underneath. So yeah, I uh, if. Oh, and this right here, the water moat. This is not here at Milwaukee. I think it's just a normal moat. I don't think it has water. But I turned it into a water moat, and I think it actually turned out really cool. I like it. And this, just this little area where the elephants can get a little shade in. Hey, right. yeah. I think it turned out really nice. I'm actually pretty happy for how long this took. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll try to get this on the Steam Workshop. Uh, I had trouble with the Cape Buffalo or the African Buffalo one with the water and when I put it on the workshop and I downloaded it just to, to see how it would work. It didn't work how I wanted. I'll see if the African elephant one does, if it works how I wanted it to work. It'll be in the link in the description just like the Aardvark one you can get on the, the Steam Workshop. It's had quite the number of engagements actually. More than I thought it would, you know. So yeah, uh, I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the African elephant speed build. I know it's pretty long, so if you didn't want to watch the whole thing, totally understandable. Makes sense if you wanted to just skip to some of the highlights. Totally understandable. Makes sense. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day, night, wherever you are. And um, old country's the best country. Have a good night, y'all.